Hey guys, it's Skulker 3 and welcome to part 18 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last few parts we did some minigame stuff, and in this part, uh, I'm going to show off a mask that I was planning to wait to get, but then I realized, no, this mask is just really useful. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get it now. For it to work at this point, or to be able to get it at this point, we need it to be the dawn of the final day. Uh, well, not necessarily the dawn, just we need it to be the final day. Um, we're going to need the Bremen mask for the first time ever. Uh, here's the guard saying, wait just a moment. Do you know whether or not the, the carnival has been cancelled? If you don't know, then never mind. I'm just a little uneasy about all this. Anyway, the swamp at Woodfall lies this way. Be careful. And he's saluting and looking up at the impending doom. Yeah, good old moon, eh? Trying to kill us all. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I was going to do a few different things uh, first, but then like, I realized that doing them would go a lot faster uh, if I got this mask. Um, this is actually probably one of my favorite masks in the entire game, so normally, under normal circumstances, I would have gone and got it as fast, as early as I could, which would be basically before we even went to Woodfall, I think. Um, yeah, because you can get the Bremen mask, like, immediately. In fact, I think we did. Uh, so normally I do that, but I was planning on saving this entire next area uh, for the point where I could do it all at the same time, but as I've said, um, the fact that this mask is so useful has swayed me. Uh, and also there's an owl statue here, which we're going to want to hit, because, you know, owl statues are useful, teleporting around the place and everything. Uh, this is Milk Road. Now, if you come here on the first or second day, then, hang on, give me a sec gonna see if I can get some good monies from there, because Tingle might be able to sell me a map of the next place, which would be very useful, really. Um, no, I don't have any arrows. Uh, fine, I'll pop him anyway. Um, but yeah, if you come here on either the first or... Hang on, Tingle is around here somewhere. There he is. Uh, yeah, if you come here on either the first or second day, then the road ahead will be blocked by an enormous rock. Uh, so you're not gonna be able to get through. Um, at this point. Uh, later in the game we will be able to break that rock down, but for now it's impossible. Uh, so, but on the final day then they finally managed to break through the rock, uh, and so you can get through. Uh, okay, Romani Ranch please, thank you very much. So yes, that covers Romani Ranch and I think Milk Road here as well, because Milk Road is very, very small, so it would make sense. Um, so yeah, there we go. We now have a map of Milk Road and a map of Romani Ranch. Uh, the map of Romani Ranch is going to come in useful very much so later on in the game uh, when we can get through the rock on the first day. Uh, which also leads to one of my least favorite... Well, no, it's not a terrible section of the game or anything. It's just that when I was a kid, it really, really freaked me out. Like, I would always dread doing that bit, but it's a necessary part of the game. Well, it's not actually a necessary part, technically, but... um. Like, a small part of it is necessary, but the full thing isn't quite. Uh, anyway, uh, some stuff does happen if you go to the main part of the ranch. However, I'm going to try and avoid that by going towards it. Yeah, great plan. Uh, no, so we need to go the other way, I think. Um, we need to, if you look on the map, we need to go to the dot that is on the very, uh, very westernmost point, basically. Uh, so we're going to go around, because if we go through the center, then a cutscene will activate, which I don't really want to show off yet. I mean, if it does get shown off, then no big deal. It's just that it's a cutscene which we can't really do anything with yet. Um, and, yeah, so I'd rather save that for, as I was saying, when we can do all loads of stuff. Because uh, most of the stuff on this ranch we can't actually do yet. It's just getting the mask... Uh, Hang on, what else can we do? Technically, we could do this uh, dog racing thing, but it would be a very, very long and very tedious thing. Uh, and there's going to be a way to do it a lot easier later, so we're going to skip past that. Um, and we're going to go straight ahead to this chicken building. Um, with all those cuckoos on it. Um, that's the resident chicken lookalike. Uh, so if we head into here, Cuckoo Shack, then we meet... I can't remember his name. It's oh, what is it again? I don't know. It's some kind of. I think it's Grog. I think that's his name. I heard it from my gramps. Says the moon's gonna fall. There's something that big. It's sure to take this ranch down with it. Yeah. Oh well. 
And he's like a punk emo. It's confusing. My only regret is that I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. The cuckoo loving Grog was added to your notebook. I was right, he is Grog. Uh, now, the reason we need the Bremen mask, because if you remember... Aw, oh, look at that little chicken. Anyway, uh, if you remember what Guru Guru told us, he said that, or possibly what the description of the mask told us, he said to play it near young animals and they will grow really quickly. So what we need to do is we need to march around picking up all the tiny little chicks until we have, I think there are ten of them. Um, and they kind of get difficult to find, especially for me, because I'm playing on a really, really small monitor which is relatively far away. So spotting tiny little dots on the screen which move around might take a while but I shouldn't imagine it'll be too bad um, but in any case uh, I'm gonna speed up now uh, and just rush through finding all the chicks because it's very tedious and there's no way to move faster or anything I don't think so yes I will see you in a second after speeding up There we go. So once you manage to get all the chickens, or the little chicks, they will slowly turn into fully fledged cuckoos. Six. Hang on. I've miscounted, I think, but whatever. So once you get all the chickens, cockadoodle do. And all is well. So, once you've done that, I don't really get it, but just seeing these guys with the crest and all, I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Yeah, you can have this from me. And you get the bunny hood. The bunny hood is fantastic. My, what long ears it has. Will the power of the wild spring forth? Yeah, these guys are all roosters. <laughs> oh, Grog. You're such a strange guy. And I believe that's the only thing you ever have to do for Grog, ever. Uh, I'm just going to find him in here. There he is, yeah. So, you can do this on any other days, but the earliest you can do it is technically the final day, which is a bit weird. Uh, anyways, but yes, if you put on the bunny hood, then it is amazing. This is Link running normally. Bunny hood! A lot faster, so... Yeah, that's really gonna help us move around very much so in the game, so that's fantastic. Uh, so... Let's see, we have six minutes left. Um, I can show off one of the things I was gonna do and then do the other bit in another video. Uh, so... We want to fly over to... Where would be fastest? Milk Road, probably, actually, which is really really close by, which we could have run to, but I think it's slightly faster to fly there. Also, you don't risk setting off that cutscene that I don't want to set off yet. <laughs> I'm going to keep bringing that up for no apparent reason. Um, actually, I'm not. Uh, so here we have Milk Road again. Uh, but we're not interested in that. We are interested in going back to Termino Field. We are going to need the Deku Mask. And yes, so... Heading out from Milk Road... Um, if we go over to... Well, if we go over towards the area where the entrance to Woodfall was, not Woodfall, uh, to the Southern Swamp was, uh, there's a patch of grass here with a hole next to it. If we fall into the hole, then inside you will find a big Skulltella, a small Skulltella, can't entirely remember what they're called other than Skulltellas, uh, don't need to hit that, um, put on the Deku Mask and stand in front of the uh, biggest uh, Gossip Stone and play the Sonata of Awakening. Uh, you can do this later in the game with other things, but this is about the earliest you can do it. So I figured, hey, let's do so, because, uh, you know, it's good to get extra pieces of heart. Uh, so we now have one of those set up. We can't do anything with the other three just yet. Uh, well, not inside that hole. We can do things with them, like, as we go along, but... Uh, essentially... Let's see, where are we going to go next? Uh, we're going to go over this way next, I think. Um, there are basically three more holes, uh, which are similar, 
only it's going to be one of the other go other three gossip stones, which are the larger one, not the first one. It's going to be like the second. So going over here, the fourth gossip stone is going to be the biggest, uh, and then in the other areas, uh, then the second and third gossip stones are going to be the biggest. So, but you'll see that soon. Uh, no, that's where the piece of heart is. Uh, the hole we want is round near the back of the observatory, and right there. Huzzah! So put on the Deku mask again. And as you can see, the first gossip stone there is already green. Uh, that's because we made the uh, biggest gossip stone when it was the first one green as well. Now, the thing with the gossip stones doing this is that the controls can be a little... Um, what's the word? Finicky, I think. Uh, it hasn't really shown it off yet, which is really good, because, you know, it means we're getting stuff done a bit quicker. Um, but, yeah, every now and then it can be a bit of a pain, and, like, it won't register that you've actually played the Sonata of Awakening in front of them, even though you just did, uh, which can be really kind of annoying. But, fortunately, we have yet to experience that. Uh, and in any case, it's not permanent, it's just you have to position yourself fairly specifically. Excuse me. Uh, these guys, I suppose I should mention them now, they are bomb chews. Do you remember the bomb chew shooting gallery? Or, not the shooting gallery, I suppose, the bomb chew gallery game uh, with Honey and Darling? Uh, those are actual bomb chews. Uh, well, no, the ones we used in the game, they're fake bomb chews, but the ones we just saw there, uh, those were real, live ones. Uh, so the third hole we want is right here, next to the entrance to the uh, mountain area. Uh, as you can see, the second one is the largest. Um, so play the Sonata of Awakening once more. And then, if you've got your maths good, that means there's only going to be one more left after this. Then we get a piece of heart. So, yeah, as you saw there, the second one has turned green, and the first and fourth were already green. So, one left to go, and we get ourselves a new heart piece. Uh, will that be a new heart container as well? Yes, it will. So, that's brilliant. We're already going to have nine before we even get to the second temple. So that's pretty nifty. Uh, next, we're going to need... Uh, we're going to need the bomb mask. So let's get that on and blow up that rock over there because under that rock is our final hole. Um, yeah, sorry, I was just thinking about showing something off yet. Uh, and I think I have, but if not, then no big deal. I can show it off some other time. Um, it's not even a necessary thing, it's just a cool little uh, thing in the game. Uh, it's something to do with the Gossip Stones. If it's already been shown, then I'll put an annotation or something saying, Oh, look, I've already done that. Hoo -hoo -hoo. And if I haven't, then I'll show it off some other time. Uh, but for now, we have the final Gossip Stone to turn green. So, once we have played the Sonata of Awakening... Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Sometimes it doesn't register. If you're not close enough, or possibly if you're not facing it directly enough or something, I don't know. But this should do it, I hope. There we go. That's all four of them turned green now. Yay, we've turned them all green. And we get ourselves a piece of heart for all the trouble. And there we go. That is pretty dang cool. So, uh, with all that done and dusted and all that sort of stuff... Uh, with our new awesome bunny hood. Uh, by the way, you can get the bunny hood like ages ago, as I said, uh, and it's very, very helpful for uh, doing the Deku mask, or not the Deku mask, uh, the Deku Deku Butler's uh, race thing. Um, I should probably have shown that off, but uh, you know, I kind of wanted the challenge, and also I just, as I've said several times, I wasn't planning on getting the bunny hood yet, uh, but hey. <laughs> So, ah, sod it. It's so useful and I really like it. Let's get it now. Uh, so, in the next part, guys, uh, we are going to take on the Swamp Spider House. Uh, so that should be fun. This guy's gonna be gooey. Um, sorry, just thought I'd choke a little there. You know, just for the lols. Uh, so yes, in the next part, we are going to take on the Swamp Spider House. Uh, which will get us another mask, which is going to be mostly kind of useless, but will get us a piece of heart a fair amount later in the game. I will see you guys then. Goodbye!